Hey everybody, it's Jim. Thanks for coming to my channel. Appreciate it as always. Um, not, I am not just the uh, project manager for Star Trek Adventures, but I also am a big fan of all things Star Trek and all things uh, soundtrack. So in an effort to uh, um, just give more information to folks and to add some more content to my channel, to talk about interesting things related to Star Trek, related to writing, etc., etc., I thought I'd share a uh, mail call today. I got a new package in the mail uh, today from an order I placed uh, about a week ago. And I thought I'd share it with everybody, just in case this is something that uh, you're curious about and want to use either for your uh, writing purposes or your Star Trek purposes or whatever. So um, I am on La La, La, La Land Records um, um, email distribution, right? Uh, so anytime they have a new soundtrack release, I'm informed. Uh, there's several different companies that do new soundtrack releases. Uh, they release classic albums from movies and television shows from days gone by. Um, I love movie and television soundtracks and scores, um, not just for the music and for supporting the composers and the producers of the shows, but also because I like to write with music on. Um, I can't write in silence. I need to have some music going on in the background uh, to be inspired by. And when I'm writing, it needs to be non-lyrical music, right? I, I can't listen to lyrics when I'm writing because I'll get distracted and I'll start singing along or I'll start typing the lyrics and it just doesn't quite work for me. Uh, but uh, musical soundtracks, specifically musical scores, uh, whether it's from a TV show, a movie, or uh, even video games. Video game scores have gotten very, very good over the years uh, to where they're almost, you know, movie and television score quality. And so there's some great, great stuff out there. Um, I like, uh, there's a lot of different composers I like. There's a lot of different genres I like. And what I like to do is I like to take a soundtrack of the genre that I'm writing and kind of pair them up. Uh, sometimes I'll buy a soundtrack uh, to a movie or a television show that I've never seen just for the music because I know the composer or I know that I'm familiar with the genre or whatever and then I'll, I'll listen to the music and I'll, I'll write my own story to that musical cue right there's been a couple of cases where I bought a movie soundtrack or a movie score had no interest in the movie no interest in watching it but the music was fantastic right maybe it was a, a composer I really liked or whatever and um, and then I go and tell my own stories based around that piece of music you know hitting the cues hitting the hitting the marks and stuff uh, anyway, so I don't know if you're in a fiction and auto of uh, movie and television scores and soundtracks, but maybe you are. Uh, if not, this is going to be a short video. Uh, again, I'm just unboxing, showing off some stuff I picked up and um, thought, thought it would be of interest to you. Obviously, I'm not going to listen to them um, while I am recording this. But uh, so La La Land Records, I've been a fan of theirs for years and years and years because they put out some absolutely amazing uh, soundtracks, especially to like older movies that just aren't available. Uh, the soundtracks just aren't available anymore, uh, like especially some of the classic westerns that came out in the 60s and the 70s. Uh, Poseidon Adventure, John Williams, they've done all kinds of stuff for John Williams. Uh, and then for the purposes of Star Trek, they've done a lot of great musical scores uh, and soundtrack sets for uh, Star Trek. And uh, so I highly recommend uh, checking out if you need music for either your game sessions or just, you know, as inspiration to listen to, or maybe if you're working on, a, you know, fan fiction or something else, uh, by all means, go grab some music. Um, also of note, they are uh, fabulous packagers. They, they packaged it the U.S. Postal Service. There's like eight feet of bubble wrap here. <laughs> so, you know, of course, they ship everything in their, um, in, uh, in jewel cases, right? So I got jewel cases here, um, you know, jewel cases. And uh, these things are fragile, right? I mean, if you've been, if you're Gen X like me and you've been buying CDs from, you know, time immemorial, you know how fragile these, these stupid plastic cases are, right? Like I've got so many that the, 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 the hinges had broken or the things had cracked or chipped or whatever. So anyway, um, lots of bubble wrap. So if you're, you know, shipping other stuff, by all means, grab, uh, grab the bubble wrap. So here's the, I bought, I bought four new soundtracks uh, or new to me anyway. Um, and, uh, and thought I'd share them just to tell you what, tell you a little bit about what I got. Um, I had, uh, I had bought the matrix soundtrack a while ago and, um, it never, never picked up Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Reloaded, uh, which uh, I've seen only I've only seen a couple of times, and then Matrix Revolutions. Uh, they didn't have the the newest Matrix movie available, but I did pick up Revolutions and Reloaded because uh, I've I've heard pieces of the music, um, just and of course I've seen the movies a long time ago, but uh, I'm in the middle of reading an absolutely fabulous book. Uh, where's my Kindle? Uh, I don't see it. It's called, uh, there's a fabulous book called Begin Transmission, written by uh, Tilly Bridges, uh, who is a Star Trek Adventures writer 
and um, also a writer of a whole bunch of other great stuff. I encourage you to go check out her work. Uh, Begin Transmission is all about the Matrix movies, the Matrix series, and how they are a very clear allegory for uh, chan transgender, transgender rights, etc., etc. Uh, it has been an eye-opening experience for me to read this book. It's fascinating. Um, I really encourage you to check it out. Uh, support Tilly. Support the, uh, the Matrix people. Um, anyway, so those two soundtracks, I'm looking forward to listening to these because uh, I love my... Uh, I love a little bit of cyberpunk from time to time, and I've actually got a, uh, a novel series that um, I'm working on that is, um, uh, the genre is tangentially very similar in some respects to, um, to The Matrix, and I think that those will be some great, um, some great soundtracks to listen to for inspiration and idea aiding. Uh, the other two soundtracks, uh, the next one, is one of my very favorite movies, uh, it's uh, Hot Fuzz. Uh, I, I love this movie, I love, I love Simon Pegg. And um, <laughs> I think I can't wait to see what this uh, what this soundtrack sounds like. Cause uh, I, I watch this movie probably I don't know every six weeks or something. It's ridiculous. It's a guilty pleasure. I have a lot of fun with it. And the fact that they made a soundtrack for it, I'm super excited. Uh, so I'm looking forward to digging into that here pretty soon. Uh, and then the last one, which will be of interest to you uh, Star Trek fans. Uh, so a few years ago, um, La La Land did a big, huge box set of soundtracks for the original series. It was like all the original series and the animated series all combined together into one big monster set for, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars or something. And uh, I, I never actually got around to picking it up. I, I think I, I hem and hawed and hem and hawed and thought about it and thought about it. And then by the time I was ready to, to uh, invest in it, uh, that was no longer available. So I was kind of bummed that I missed it. Um, although I still got other original series soundtracks floating about. And I thought, you know, that would be good enough. But what it appears that they're doing now is they're breaking up the uh, collection into smaller uh, single one-off releases. And so this is uh, the 1701 Collection Volume 1. This includes um, uh, some music from Alexander Carrage and Fred Steiner. It looks like we've got, uh, what, 3186 86 tracks on here. Uh, total album time is... 148, so almost two hours worth of music. Uh, covers uh, the main title, Man Trap, Naked Time, Charlie X, Mud's Women, The Corbomite Maneuver, Balance of Terror, What Are the Little Girls Made Of, The City on the Edge of Forever, an end title, and of course the Desi Lu uh, sign off ID at the very end. So um, you can see that in the, uh, the reflection might kill it here. Uh, I don't know. I, haven't I have not even taken these out of shrink wrap yet, obviously. Um, but yeah, 1701 Collection, Volume 1. I can only assume that there will be more volumes to come to kind of fill out what was in that big honkin' box set. Um, but I'm looking forward to uh, adding this to my collection and giving it a listen, because uh, you can never go wrong with uh, more Star Trek music, especially if you are uh, into game sessions with music and sound cues and musical cues and whatnot. Um, I love to do that. And for what it's worth, this is a uh, limited edition of 1,701 units. So uh, there's. Other than this one, there's 1,700 left, so if you want one, you better go grab it. Um, I do know that the big box set, box set sold out at some point. So, uh, anyway, hope this was uh, of interest to you. If you were not aware that these soundtracks were available, now you know. Uh, so go check them out. Uh, again, Star Trek, Hot Buzz, and then uh, Mat I think the Matrix, the two Matrix ones have been available for a while, uh, but I just had not gotten around to picking them up yet. So, now I got them. So, um, anyway, hope you found this interesting. Uh, again, not going to go into a uh, review or anything here because it's, it's, it's all great music. In my opinion, uh, every, every soundtrack has a little nugget of gold in it somewhere that I can use for inspiration or writing or ideas or something else. So, um, thanks for your time. Hope you've enjoyed this short video. I know it's unusual for me to do a video less than 10 minutes, but I'm trying. I'm trying to make more content, more interesting content, more useful content. So, uh, like and subscribe. Any comments, drop them in the comments section below. I'll try to keep active on that. And uh, I look forward to talking to you all soon. So thanks, everybody. Be well.